Hidden within the depths of Siberia's Denisova cave lies the key to a story that has transformed our understanding of human ancestry. Until 2010, the Denisovans were completely unknown to science. Unlike the Neanderthals, whose bones and tools have long told their story, the Denisovans were discovered not through physical remains, but through their DNA, a method that has revolutionized studies of ancient humans. The first clue came from a single pinky bone, no larger than a pebble, unearthed during an excavation at the Denisova cave. It belonged to a young girl who lived tens of thousands of years ago. Scientists extracted genetic material from this bone, and their findings stunned the scientific community. The DNA didn't match that of modern humans or Neanderthals, but instead pointed to a distinct human group. They called them the Denisovans, named after the cave where their remains were found. Though Denisovans are no longer with us, their legacy endures in remarkable ways. They interbred with the ancestors of some modern humans, passing down genetic traits that still influence certain populations today. This makes the Denisovans an essential part of the human story, bridging the gaps between ancient lineages and offering new insights into how our ancestors spread, adapted, and survived across the millennia. If you're hoping to piece together the Denisovan story through fossil evidence, prepare for a challenge. To date, the list of confirmed Denisovan fossils includes just a few fragments, a finger bone, several teeth, part of a jawbone, and a few pieces of skull. This scarcity of physical remains presents a stark contrast to the wealth of genetic data the Neanderthals have provided. Take the teeth, for example. Found in the same Denisova cave as the pinky bone, these molars are unlike anything found in Neanderthals or modern humans. They're massive, robust, and almost primitive in appearance. Yet their DNA proved they belonged to Denisovans. Then there's the Ziahi mandible, a jawbone discovered in a Tibetan cave over 3,000 meters above sea level. This find expanded the Denisovan range far beyond Siberia, showing they could survive in extreme environments. Interestingly, genetic analysis has painted a richer picture than fossils alone could provide. DNA extracted from sediments in caves has confirmed that Denisovans occupied these spaces for tens of thousands of years. Their genomic footprints reveal robust interbreeding with other human groups, a fascinating twist in their story. It raises the question of just how widespread the Denisovans were, and what other remains might still lie undiscovered across Asia's landscapes. The extraction and sequencing of Denisovan DNA stand as one of the most extraordinary achievements in modern science. This discovery showed how genetic material can rewrite human history, even when physical evidence is limited. It all started with mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, from the pinky bone, which showed the Denisovans were a distinct branch of hominins. But things got even more exciting when scientists extracted nuclear DNA, giving a fuller picture of their relationship to other ancient humans. Neanderthals were their closest relatives, splitting off from a common ancestor around 400,000 to 500,000 years ago. However, this distinct genetic signature demonstrated that Denisovans were not simply a subspecies of Neanderthals. They were their own unique lineage. Perhaps the most groundbreaking aspect of the Denisovan genome has been its influence on modern humans. Genetic fragments still survive in the DNA of certain populations today, particularly among Melanesians, Aboriginal Australians, and some Southeast Asian groups. This interbreeding left its mark in critical ways, such as a gene adaptation that helps modern Tibetans thrive at high altitudes, or others that may enhance immune responses. Denisovan DNA doesn't just tell us about the past, it also explains certain adaptations that are part of being human today. Denisova Cave isn't just another archaeological site. It's a time capsule of human history. Nestled in the rugged Altai Mountains of Siberia, this unassuming sandstone cave held the remains of not one, but three distinct human groups. Denisovans shared the space with both Neanderthals and early modern humans, creating a unique crossroads for ancient populations. Did these groups interact? The evidence suggests they did. Beyond the genetic traces of interbreeding, artifacts found in the cave hint at shared technology and knowledge. For instance, researchers have unearthed tools and ornaments in the same sediment layers as Denisovan fossils, intricately carved jewellery, bone needles, and stone blades. While it's unclear which group crafted these items, their presence points to a level of ingenuity traditionally attributed to Homo sapiens. The discovery of Denny, a girl who had a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother, drives home the interconnectedness of these populations. 
Her genome is a rare snapshot of direct interbreeding, marking her as a child of two worlds. These findings challenge earlier views of human evolution as a straight line, and instead showcase a dynamic mosaic of interactions, migrations, and adaptations. Initially discovered in Siberia, Denisovan remains have since turned up in some surprising places, broadening the scope of their geographic range. From the Tibetan plateau to Southeast Asia's jungles, the Denisovans appear to have been more widespread than initially thought. The Xiahi mandible, found in Tibet, is a testament to their adaptability. Living at altitudes above 3,000 meters requires biological specializations, such as the ability to cope with low oxygen levels. Remarkably, modern Tibetans inherit a Denisovan gene, EPAS1, that enables them to survive in these harsh high-altitude conditions, demonstrating how ancient interbreeding had practical evolutionary benefits. Beyond high-altitude adaptation, Denisovan ancestry may play a role in immune function. Certain genes linked to immune response appear to come from Denisovans, potentially giving modern populations an evolutionary edge against specific diseases in their environments. And while much of the Denisovan genetic legacy remains a scientific puzzle, researchers are finding more connections between Denisovan DNA and traits like body composition and metabolism, particularly in populations residing in Southeast Asia. These findings emphasize that Denisovans, though extinct, continue to shape the biology of living humans. What did the Denisovans look like? This question has intrigued scientists and the general public alike but reconstructing their appearance remains a challenge due to the limited fossil evidence. However, breakthroughs in genetic analysis have provided some tantalizing clues. A study comparing the Denisovan genome to modern humans and Neanderthals revealed several features that might hint at their physical traits. DNA markers associated with physical attributes suggest Denisovans likely had dark skin, dark eyes, and dark hair traits well suited to their diverse habitats in both cooler northern climates and tropical regions farther south. Reconstructing facial structure is more complicated. A few fragments of the Denisovan skull and a jawbone provide limited insight, but comparisons with Neanderthals suggest a robust build. Scientists used advanced DNA methylation, chemical markers that influence gene expression, to model Denisovan anatomical traits. The resulting reconstruction suggests Denisovans may have shared some Neanderthal-like features, such as a prominent brow ridge and a wide face. However, their large molars, distinct even among ancient humans, set them apart as uniquely adapted to their environment. Despite these insights, much about their physical appearance remains speculative. With new discoveries constantly reshaping our understanding, it's possible future fossils will add more pieces to the puzzle. Each find draws us closer to seeing how this ancient population inhabited the world while Denisovan tools and artifacts are scarce compared to Neanderthals or modern humans. Evidence suggests they were not primitive. On the contrary, the few glimpses into their culture point to a surprisingly complex and adaptable society. The Denisova cave, the primary archaeological site linked to Denisovans, has yielded stone tools such as scrapers and blades, though it's unclear whether Denisovans crafted these themselves or inherited them through interaction with other human groups. One of the most striking finds linked to Denisovans, is a bracelet made from green chlorotilite, a material requiring advanced techniques to carve. This artifact, considered by some to be the oldest known piece of jewellery, highlights the Denisovans' capacity for aesthetic expression, and possibly even symbolic thought. Their diet likely reflected the diverse environments they inhabited. Fossilised bones and DNA from cave sediments suggest they hunted large mammals and gathered plant-based foods. The discovery of the Xiahi mandible at Tibet's high altitudes also hints that Denisovans may have innovated ways to thrive in resource-scarce, high-altitude settings. These abilities demonstrate an adaptability that mirrors the ingenuity seen in other ancient human groups. Perhaps one of the most remarkable aspects of Denisovan life involves their interactions with Neanderthals and modern humans. Genetic evidence of interbreeding shows that Denisovans weren't reclusive. They were likely migratory and socially dynamic, engaging with other groups over tens of thousands of years. Far from isolated, Denisovan society reflects a dynamic interplay between environment, culture, and biological adaptation. Why did the Denisovans vanish? This question continues to puzzle scientists, especially as genetic evidence reveals they were widely distributed across Asia. One theory posits that the Denisovans gradually assimilated into modern human populations disappearing not through a dramatic extinction event, but through continuous interbreeding. 
This idea aligns with genetic evidence showing Denisovan DNA in modern humans, but with no distinct populations left to carry their lineage independently. Another contributing factor could be environmental shifts. The Denisovan timeline overlaps with fluctuating Ice Age climates, which drastically altered habitats and likely disrupted hunting patterns or food sources. Denisovans living in Siberia may have struggled to adapt as colder conditions worsened. While smaller populations across Asia might not have been robust enough to survive environmental pressures or competition for resources. Finally, modern human migration may have played a role. By around 50,000 to 40,000 years ago, early Homo sapiens were spreading more rapidly across regions Denisovans once occupied. These newcomers brought advanced technologies and social networks, potentially outcompeting Denisovans for resources. Whether through extinction, assimilation, or a complex combination of factors, the fate of the Denisovans remains one of the great enigmas of human history. While Denisovan fossils have never been found in Australia, their genetic legacy tells us they played a crucial role in the ancestry of modern Aboriginal Australians and Melanesians. The genetic footprint suggests significant interbreeding occurred as early modern humans migrated toward Australia, likely between 75,000 and 50,000 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. The journey of these ancient peoples was shaped by the geography of their time. Lower sea levels during the Ice Age created vast land masses that have since disappeared beneath the waves. Sunda, a large expanse connecting mainland Southeast Asia, with islands like Borneo and Java, and Sahul, the combined landmass of Australia and New Guinea, provided corridors for human movement. These geographical features may explain how the ancestors of Aboriginal Australians encountered and interbred with Denisovan populations before reaching their final destination. Recent genetic studies have revealed even more complexity to this story. Scientists have identified at least three distinct waves of Denisovan gene flow into modern human populations. Intriguingly, some Denisovan genetic variants found in Oceanian populations differ from those found in mainland Asian populations, suggesting the existence of multiple, genetically distinct Denisovan groups. These ancient genetic contributions weren't merely passive inheritance, they provided significant advantages. The retained Denisovan DNA appears to have enhanced immune system responses, improved fat metabolism, and helped with adaptation to tropical environments. The mystery of missing physical evidence adds another layer to this story. Despite the strong genetic evidence, no Denisovan fossils have been found in Australia or most of Southeast Asia. This absence might be explained by poor preservation conditions in tropical environments, limited archaeological exploration, or the difficulty of identifying Denisovan remains without DNA preservation. However, a breakthrough came in 2022 with the discovery of a Denisovan molar in the Cobra Cave in Laos, providing the first physical evidence of Denisovan presence in Southeast Asia. This finding helps bridge the geographical gap between the Siberian caves where Denisovans were first discovered and their genetic legacy in Oceania, offering a crucial piece in the puzzle of human migration and interaction in ancient Asia. One of the most astonishing revelations about Denisovans came in 2018 with the discovery of Deni, a young girl whose genetic story would rewrite our understanding of ancient human interactions. Found among the rich sediments of Denisova Cave, a single bone fragment no bigger than a pea held within it a revolutionary secret. When scientists sequenced Denny's genome, they discovered something extraordinary. She was neither purely Denisovan nor Neanderthal, but rather a first-generation hybrid born to a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother. This discovery wasn't just another piece of evidence for ancient human interbreeding. It was a window into a single family story from over 90,000 years ago. The genetic portrait of Denny revealed even more surprises. Her Denisovan father carried traces of Neanderthal ancestry himself, suggesting that interbreeding between these groups wasn't a one-time event, but rather a recurring pattern across generations. This discovery painted a picture of a complex social landscape, where different human groups not only coexisted but formed intimate bonds. The cave where Denny's remains were found might have been more than just a shelter. It could have been a meeting point, a place where different human groups came together, shared resources, and perhaps even formed families. What makes Denny's story particularly poignant is its immediacy. Unlike the abstract concept of genetic inheritance across thousands of generations, here was evidence of a real child, born to parents from two different human groups. She walked the same caves we now excavate, breathed the same mountain air, and represented in her very existence the complexity of human interactions in the Pleistocene world. Her genome tells us that these different human groups weren't just occasionally crossing paths. 
They were raising families together. Scientists have been able to determine that Denny was at least 13 years old when she died, raising intriguing questions about the social dynamics of her unique family. Did she identify more with one parental group than the other? Did her hybrid status affect her acceptance within either community? While we may never know the answers to these questions, her existence proves that the boundaries between ancient human groups were far more fluid than previously thought. The conclusion of the Denisovan story reads less like an ending and more like a beginning of a new chapter in our understanding of human origins. Each new discovery, from cave sediments in Siberia to genetic traces in modern populations, adds another layer to this remarkable narrative. The Denisovans have emerged from complete obscurity to become a crucial piece in the puzzle of human evolution, showing us that our family tree is less like a straight line and more like an intricate web of connections. The story of the Denisovans challenges us to rethink what we know about human capability and interaction. They weren't simply another human species that once existed. They were innovators who developed advanced tools, artists who crafted jewellery, and people who formed meaningful relationships across group boundaries. As we continue to uncover more evidence, the Denisovan story reminds us that human history is far more complex and interconnected than we once imagined. Their tale is one of survival in extreme environments, of technological innovation, and of the power of human adaptability. While they may have vanished as a distinct population, their contribution to our species' success continues through the genetic adaptations they passed down to modern humans. The final chapter of the Denisovan story has yet to be written. Each year brings new discoveries, new techniques for analysing ancient DNA, and new insights into how these ancient people lived and died. In many ways, understanding the Denisovans helps us better understand ourselves. Not just where we came from, but who we are as a species and what we might become.